Next, we're traveling to a more rural section of Wales, to Cayago Riding Center, at the base of the Cambrian Mountains in the west. Charlie Pollock, who founded this family-run riding center, has been leading equitrekkers into the mountains and helping them experience life in this quiet farming area for over 30 years. What is life like for, for you and for people that live around here? It's a pretty rural area. It's, it's hard life. It's not, it's not easy. You know, it's agriculturally based, so you depend on the weathers and, and, and the market, which is not often in our favor, but everybody gets by. Everybody, I say, it's a hard working area. Right, this lake supplied um, water for a silver mine down in the next village. Was mining big in this area? Well, I suppose you had uh, Roman gold mines, you had the silver mines, and I know there's an odd lead mine. And of course, you got further south, you have all the coal mines. Like a lot of the um, farmers, the smallholders, used to do their work and then go and work in the collieries from here. So, has anyone ever struck it rich? Well, maybe a Roman emperor. <laughs> I mean, some say the reason the Romans came to the United Kingdom was the gold at this gold mine. So I suppose, yeah, maybe he got rich. <laughs> but that's only hearsay. Ah, uh, local legend. A local legend, yeah. We love that. Charlie takes me through a damp, moss-covered forest that is teeming with life. From my quiet seat on horseback, I take in nature's colors, feeling like I've stepped into a storybook fantasy land. Charlie, what's this old road that we're on? Oh, right, it's the miller's track. Like in the old days, they came down with their horse and carts to the mill, which is called Velin in, in Welsh. And they brought their grain, ground it, and I suppose they took it home to make bread. Now this would have been before your time. Absolutely. <laughs> we begin the real climb into the mountains, past the sheep that dot the countryside. Called the Desert of Wales, the Cambrian Mountains are prized for their open expanses and rolling moorland. Well, we're, we're definitely going to see only sheep, not humans up here. <laughs> right. <laughs> and wind and gales. There are few roads in this area, and in this remote upland area where we are riding, getting around by foot or horseback are your only options, and I recommend the latter. Finally, we reach the top, marked by an old stone carn. So it needs to be up so high you can just see for miles and miles. Well, from here, you can see virtually the whole of Wales with a bit of exaggeration, of course. <laughs> and we've got a spot of sunshine shining oh, through us way up here. Quite unusual for Wales. Maybe we've broken through a cloud way up high. You're probably right. We're one step closer to God. 